Hello, guys. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Good Hello, evening. Anna and Alpha. Welcome back. Good to see you, ladies. Thank you so much for coming early. Hello, Anita and Alpha. So let's start with the lesson, ladies. And uh, yesterday we were studying what? Who can tell me about the lesson that we were studying yesterday? What did we study yesterday? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? What did we study yesterday? Who can remind me about the topics? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? What did we study? Eh, Ana, do you remember something from yesterday's class? Teacher, I am, no pude entrar. Ah, sorry, so, sorry. Uh, Okay, okay, sorry, Anna. Okay, Alpha, uh, what do you remember from the previous class? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer, Alpha? What can you tell me? Estuvimos leyendo. Oh, yes, we read. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. We introduced ourselves, right? We introduced, right? We introduced ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, the adverbs of frequency, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Los adverbios de frecuencia, the adverbs of frequency. Okay. ¿Cuáles son esos adverbs of frequency? Do you remember? ¿Recordamos algunos? How often. Ok. The question, how often? Very good. Then... What is another adverb? ¿Qué otro adverbio utilizamos when we are talking about la frecuencia de alguna actividad? Um, for example, always. <coughs> Perdón, ¿Es siempre? Okay, no Or, almost never. Almost never, yes. Almost Hardly never. never. Hardly never. ever, yeah. Sometimes. Uh, Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Yes. Sometimes too, right? Punctuality. Usually, 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 very, very good. Usually. Uh, usually, and never too, right? Ever and ever. ¿Y cuál es la posición en una oración, for example, de estos adverbios, of these adverbs? ¿Cuál es la? El what usually, is it? Usually, usually, uh -huh. uh, sometimes, al inicio. Uh -huh can be at the beginning, right? Usually, muy bien. Tenemos que usually and sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Podemos utilizar al principio that at the beginning, right? Of the sentence. ¿Qué otra opción tenemos? What is the other? The king of farm. Okay, ¿Qué otro? ¿Cuál es the other place? ¿Cuál es la otra posición? Frequently. Ok, we can, ok, this is también frequently, right? Frequently, this is también frequently. ¿Qué, cuál es, pero ¿cuál es la posición? Por ejemplo, si yo tengo la oración. Antes del verbo. Antes del verbo, that's right, before the verb. Entonces, los adverbs o frequency los vamos a utilizar. Adverbs of frequency are before, right? Or the verb. Antes del verbo. Por ejemplo, eh, let's see, Carlos. Está bien si yo digo eh, studies. Always at night. ¿Estará bien así? No. No, right. Según la regla, it has to be before uh -huh. the bear. Uh -huh. Okay, don't forget yes. that. Okay. That is mainly what we study, right? También estuvimos recordando el verbo cuando estamos en tercera persona que le agregamos, dependiendo del verbo, I E S. Okay? You can take care with that too. 
Okay, welcome back to the ones that are joining guys. I hope you are okay and that you are safe right at home. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with the lesson. Let's see what we have. Ahí tenemos, we have the agenda. Ya hicimos el review, right? Have often and the adverbs. Vamos a tener una speaking section, a listening practice, a grammar section, and a writing practice. Okay, es van a ser some activities that we are going to be doing. Okay, recordemos this section, right? El verbo, recordemos, cuando tenemos das, el verbo permanece de la forma normal en pregunta. Ok, en pregunta. Ya en una oración afirmativa, ya le agregamos la S. Ok, so esto, we studied this yesterday, right? Ok, I want you to help me to create a sentence. Quiero que me ayuden a crear una eh, question, right? Utilizando el verbo que tenemos acá, the verb, el verbo más... Mm -hmm. El sujeto. Tenemos el ejemplo. We have the example. How often do you drink coffee? Tenemos la respuesta. Every day puede ser sometimes, once a week, two times a day, etc. Ok. En el chat les voy a escribir para que ustedes me puedan ayudar. Okay. Number two, si me ayuda Alfa. De una sola vez la respuesta, eh, Alfa. Ok, tengamos la lista porque acá la vamos a presentar, ok. En el, en el chat, teacher. No, 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 solo preparémosla y luego la compartimos, ok. Ok. Ok, number three, si me ayuda with number three, Morena. No sé si mm -hmm. can you help me, Morena. Ok, and number four, if you can help me, Álvaro. Number five, can you help me, Amanda? And number six, if you can help me, eh, Gloria, please, number six. Okay, tell me eh, number two, eh, Alpha. Are you ready, Alpha, with number two? Sí. Okay. Tell me the question. How, how often do mm -hmm. you drink soda? Okay, how often do you drink soda? Soda, very good. How often do you drink soda, Alpha? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, okay. Sometimes. I drink, vamos a escribir, podemos agregar, I drink, drink soda. soda. Is Sophie? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with number three. Let's see, Morena, are you ready? Thank you, okay. Alfa. Eh, a long, a long breakfast es que es... Eh, eh, breakfast es el desayuno. Ay, breakfast, a long... A long es sola o solo. ¿Cómo se llama? How, entonces tengo que decir, as, how often uh -huh. how do often? you... Uh -huh. do, do you, you eat uh -huh. breakfast? Uh -huh. Yes, hello, perfect. Often do you uh -huh. eat breakfast? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tal? sola, right? Uh, almost, almost never. Almost never, okay. Almost, almost never. Almost never. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can say I almost una oración larga in a long I sentence. Almost never. Mm -hmm. I almost never eat break, I eat break alone. alone. O simplemente mm -hmm. podemos decir almost never. That's okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. So let's do number mm -hmm. four. Álvaro, are you ready, Álvaro? Hello, Álvaro, are you there? No está, Álvaro? Okay. So maybe you can help me, um, Mario Claros. Can you help me with number four, Mario? Mm, how often? Yeah, how often? 
Do, how often do you? Tenemos your family. Do, do your family. Mm -hmm. In this case, vamos a utilizar das, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. As your family. Mm -hmm. Go go out to nice restaurant. Yeah, go out to a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's right. How often does your family go out to a nice restaurant? That's right. Okay, and the answer. What is the answer? My family never. <laughs> <laughs> My family never. 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 ¿Cómo nos quedaría una oración larga? My family never. My family never go out to nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. Pero algo le hace falta. Something is missing there. ¿Qué nos hará falta? Something very important. ¿Qué nos hará falta? Something is missing there. Um, ¿Qué nos hace falta? What is missing here? En esta oración, ¿qué nos hace falta in this sentence? What is missing there, guys? ¿Qué nos hará falta? Who knows the answer? El tú. Mm, no. Why the verb? No. No. My family does never. Mm, no. Nunca. Something, algo nos hace falta in this sentence. Do. Of do. That's mm. my family. No. Mm -mm. Ese es para pregunta. That, ese mm -hmm. es para question, right? Restaurant. No. No. No sé, teacher. Ok. So, recordémonos de la regla. Familia, desde el momento que tengamos uh, das, desde el momento que tengamos das, has. significa que a la, a la, al verbo le vamos a agregar ya sea S o ES. Entonces, en este caso nos quedaría My family never goes, right? Goes. Goes out to a nice restaurant. Okay, take care with these guys. Mm -hmm. Take care, okay, take care with that part. Okay, what about the number five? Armando. Oh, Amanda, Amanda, sorry, Amanda. Are you ready, Amanda? Yes, teacher. Okay. Question, how often, how often you friends go oh. to, uh -huh. go how to often eat? Your food. friends? Your friends uh -huh. go to eat? Eat? Uh -huh. Eat? Fat? Uh -huh. A fast, a a fast <coughs> restaurant. Okay, something, algo me hace falta ahí. Something, también importante, something very important in this sentence is missing. ¿Qué nos hacen falta? Das. das. Sería das? Is it das? Oh, how often it's, does you friend? It's. Mm -mm. It's mm -mm. Esa es una question, remember. It's a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, desde el, tenemos que ver el sujeto, right? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esta oración? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Amigos. Amigos. Ajá, y sería friends, right? Friends. Mm -hmm. Friends, ese es el sujeto. Entonces, cuando sea una palabra en plural, vamos a utilizar el do. How often do your friends eat at a fast food restaurant? Es un refuerzo de ese tema, ¿ok? Así que, eh, if you have questions, you can ask, guys. ¿Qué pasaría si aquí tuviera your friend? 
¿Qué pasaría si tuviera your friend aquí? ¿Puedo utilizar do? ¿Puedo utilizar do? Do, that. Ahí sería das, ¿verdad? Porque estoy hablando mm -hmm. de, de un, el amigo, de un amigo, que puede ser él o ella. Okay. En este caso, como es plural, we're going to use okay. do. Ok, entonces the answer, Amanda, ¿cómo nos quedaría the answer? We eat fast food twice a week. Ok, or, ok, my friends, uh -huh. y, ok, eat at a fast food restaurant twice a week, right, you said, twice a week, ok. Food, right. No sé si hay dudas o questions about this topic. ¿Por qué no le agrego S al verbo acá? Why? Why? ¿Por qué no le estoy agregando S? Porque estoy en plural. Plural, that's right. That's right. Okay, what about number six? Gloria, can you help me with number six? How often? Mm -hmm. How often does your? Often does your? Your, mm -hmm. your relatives? Relatives. Mm -hmm. Visit your mm -hmm. home. Visit your home. Algo está de más acá. ¿Qué sería? Okay. It, algo yeah. está de más. Something. Tenemos que quitarlo. Es... Your. Your. Mm -mm. Oh, how? Does. Does. You can change the does for do. Exactly right. We have to take okay. out the ES. Tenemos que quitar el ES. ¿Por qué? Porque esta palabra me indica que es plural, right? Desde el momento que tengo una S, ah, voy a utilizar do. Ok, pues mm -hmm. plural. Ok, so what is the answer? Gloria, how often do your relatives visit your home? Eh, relative, ¿qué significa? Los relative? parientes, it can be. Eh, sería my. Exactly, my. Mm -hmm. My relatives. My relatives, very good. Eh, es... Usually, usually, uh -huh. usually, um, visit your home. Visit my home, right? Estamos mm -hmm. hablando de, de mis parientes. Yes, exactly. That's right. Okay, no sé si hay dudas or questions, guys. Questions about this? Okay, les voy a mandar unos videos para reforzar el simple present, right? Porque ese tema es muy importante. En la próxima semana vamos a estar viendo el pasado, entonces necesito que reforcemos el simple present, okay? Las reglas. Teacher. Yeah? Teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher, excuse me. It's, it's correct to say how often do your, do your relative Does your relative visit your home? Oh, how often? I'm going to write it. How often does, does your relative, your, your relative mm -hmm. visit your home? Visit, yeah. Visit your home, yeah. Nos indica uno, right? Your home. Your home, right? In the Sorry. case that we have only one person. In that case. But most of the time, we have a lot of relatives. But if you have just one, it can be right. It can be. Hmm. Okay. So okay. in this case, it is does, right? Because estamos hablando just about one relative. In the case that we have one, but it can be. Okay. okay. So no more questions. No? Okay, guys. So let's keep studying this topic. And uh, um, we're going to move to the, the following topic. So we have uh, uh, the fitness program, right? 
So let's talk about some of the exercise that maybe you do when you have free time. And then let's talk a little bit about this. Okay, let's see. Um, Magdalena, are you there, Magdalena? Hello? Hello, yes. Okay, Magdalena, tell me, do you have a regular fitness program? Do you have no. a regular? No? No. No? You don't no. exercise? You don't exercise? None of them exercise. I walk to my work, but just that. Just that. Okay, that's good, Brad. You are doing exercise by walking. Okay. Thank you, Magdalena. So what about uh, you, um, Jose Leonardo? Do you ever go to a gym, Jose Leonardo? Do you ever go to the gym? Hello? No. Mm -hmm. No, miss. I never. No. Never? Really? You never go to the gym? No, I never go. But in the future, what about in the future? Would you like to go to the gym? Yes. In the yeah, in the future. Yes. Maybe now you don't have time, right? Okay, thank you, Jose. Let's see. Um, Jonathan Quinteros. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. Jonathan, tell me, do mm -hmm. you play any sport? Uh, yes, teacher, usually. Yes, what, what sport? Mm -hmm. What sport? What sport? ¿Qué deporte? Or any? Soccer, you... soccer teacher. Soccer, oh, okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. What about, uh, let's see, Amanda, you, uh, do you ever take long walks? Do you ever take long walks, Amanda? Mm -hmm. Yes, long walks, like long distances, right? Um, I walk, walk, walk. Sometimes or never, usually. Sometimes. Sometimes. But let's say like, yes, right. Okay. And the last question, Adonais, please. Do you do anything else fit, Adonai? Do you do anything, right, to keep fit or to stay fit? Yes or no, Adonai? Adonias, I'm sorry, Adonias. Tengo problema con el audio. Okay, okay, no problem. Um, maybe you can answer this. Vamos a responder number five. Do you do anything else to keep fit? Adona, Adonias. Mm, yes. Yes, what do you do? ¿Qué es lo que hace? What do you do? Algunas, algunas palabras de ahí de, de la oración no le entiendo. ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que haces no para mantenerte en figura o en forma? Watch television. <laughs> Watch TV, right? <laughs> sí que se mantiene en forma. <laughs> For my brain, right? Pero de, de pelota. Ok, that's... Uh, you, you play no, sports. Sí. Play soccer. Please, uh, yes. Play soccer. Okay, that's right. Okay, thank you. So let's continue with the lesson. Vamos a, te a tener this listening, right? Then you're going to tell me what the listening is about. Second. Let's listen. Page 30, Fitness Freak. Part A, listen and practice. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. 
No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, what is the listening about? ¿De qué se trató el listening? What is the listening about, guys? Yes, who can tell me what is the listening about? Creo que están sobre si 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 juegan o ajá, si juegan si, este y habla ahí sobre el tenis. Uh -huh. Juega tenis y, y, y que que cuántas veces lo no cuan, que ay no sé ella <ríe> me trae toda este, cuán a menudo lo juega algo creo que algo okay. así play okay. tennis twice a week they play tennis right about how often they do that and play sports right okay very good so let's have a look of what the listening is about Page okay here you have so Let's have uh, this. Let me just verify the, the, the list. Page 30A. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so I want you to uh, like try to imitate as much as you can this. And uh, so uh, all of you are going to listen you to read this. Okay, vamos a tratar de imitar, right? The dialogue y luego vamos a leerlo. Okay, let's listen one more time and let me know if you have questions about a word. No sé si hay alguna duda about a word, an expression. No? Okay, let's listen. Y luego voy a seleccionar alguno de ustedes para que you can breathe. Okay, let's listen one more time. Page 39. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, so who wants to read? Two persons by now. Two persons who wants to read, or I can choose you. Teacher, antes de que siga, ¿qué significa I guess? Um, yo creo, divino, I guess. I guess, yeah. Oh, yo okay. creo, yeah. Like, I think. Mm -hmm. Teacher, cuando mm -hmm. dice, I am a real fitness freak, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? It is like, como esas personas que solo pasan como obsesionadas with their body, como de esos que tienen que cuidarse, right? That is a freaking person, right? A fitness freak. Like a real fitness. De esos que and in, in Spanish, um, no sé how to translate, but ese es el significado, right? Como alguien obsesionado with their bodies. Okay. And, okay, that is like the meaning. Thank you. Okay, teacher. you're welcome. So, any other? Or is there somebody who wants to read? Mm -hmm. Somebody who wants to read, guys? Okay, if not, I'm going to choose some of you. Okay, let's choose a boy. Let's listen to, let's see, Jonathan Quinteros. Are you there, Jonathan? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So you're going to be Ruth, and uh, Keith is going to be. Uh, let's listen another boy. Um, Jose Leonardo, are you ready, Jose Leonardo? Hello. Or no, it's not there. Oh yes, there you are. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see, Jonathan, you're going to be Ruth and uh, Jose Leonardo is going to be Keith. Okay, let's okay. start, guys. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Your and grad child. Okay, okay. Como se puede Keith, teacher? Keith. In this case, it Keith. is Keith. Mm -hmm. Keith. Keith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Uh, I am a real fitness freak. Mm -hmm. Oh, freak. Oh, of, of, often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice and week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play something? Oh, how way do you play? What do how do you well? How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I'll try, but I'm not very good. No problem. I uh, give you a few tips. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Remember this word. It is twice, twice, right? Twice. And uh, there is an all right. Estamos pronunciando all, all, all right. Okay, so thank you guys. So, uh, is there, hay alguien que lo quiere leer? Is there somebody who wants to read it? So I um, can give you the opportunity. Yo, teacher. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Go ahead, please. Can you choose your partner? Podemos elegir a su partner, a su compañero. Or if there is a volunteer who wants to read with you, it's perfect. Keith, well, yeah, teacher. Okay, Alpha and Amanda, okay? Let's go, Alpha, you're going to be Ruth, and Keith is going to be Amanda. Go ahead, please. Okay. You are in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty really well, I guess. Well, I write, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, thank you. Very good, ladies. Don't forget the word all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so thank you, ladies. Let's move on with the next activity. Page. Okay, so let's go with the grammar section that we have for today. And uh, in this section, we are going to study questions, preguntas with how, right? With how. And short answers y respuestas cortas. Tenemos the first one, how often, esta ya la estudiamos, do you work out? How often do you work out? Tenemos the answer, every day, short answers, twice a week, and not very often. Then we have how long, esa nos va a indicar la duración, right? How long do you spend at the gym? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasas en el gimnasio? How long? It's a period of time. So we can say 30 minutes, two hours, about an hour. Cuando utilizamos about, it is like when you say como casi por una hora o almost, right? About an hour. Then we have, uh, how well do you play tennis? Que tan bueno eres, right? Jugando tennis, playing tennis. And then we have, how good you are you at sports? Que tan bueno, right? Eres en los deportes. So this one we are using with do, right? And how good with are. Okay, then we have pretty good, not so good, not so bad, very well, and so on. Okay, let's have a practice with this one. Okay, number one. 
¿Qué pregunta podemos utilizar? Can we use how often, how long, how well, or how good? What can be the answer? How well. Teacher. How good. We can say, sí, how I guess. Teacher. How good. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Es, eh, dice, how long is cuánto tiempo? Más o menos, o cuánto, cuánto duración, let's say. Well, yeah, uh, like that. But okay, it is like that for duration. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we say how, how good, right? How good, how good are you, how good are you at sports, right? I guess I'm pretty good. I play a lot of different sports. What about number two? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la number two? How long? Yeah, right. Sería how long? How long? Yeah. Do you? No nos olvidemos del do you. Do you spend online? Spend time, right? About an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. What about number three? How often? How often? Yeah, right. How often? How often do you? No nos olvidemos del auxiliar. Do you go to the beach? And the next one. What can we use? How well? Yeah, right. How well? How well do you swim? Do you swim? Not very well. Okay, do you have questions, guys, about this part? Okay. Teacher, how, how, how well es como, como decir que por qué te gusta. El how well es como cuando usted dice... ¿Qué tan bien juegas? Mm. Uh -huh. ¿O qué tan bueno? En el sí, caso de how good sería qué tan bueno eres tú en los deportes. ¿Y how long uh, es como esperar? No, how long es cuánto. Como ¿Cuánto, cuánto tiempo estás mm. estudiando? ¿Cuánto tiempo vas, te tardas en algo? Ese es el how long. O cuánto tiempo te lleva, right? En, en hacer cert, ciertas actividades. Entonces sería que el how good es qué tan bueno eres. Mm -hmm. well, qué tan buen, qué tan bien. Juegas. Juegas. Mm. Tenis. Okay. Exactly. Okay. There you have, it, guys. So let's move on to the next activity. It's almost, it's going to be almost time. Okay, so uh, let's, vamos a escribir about your favorite activities, right? Include one activity that is false. Vamos a escribir acerca de nuestras favorite activities. We have the example. I love to exercise. I usually work out every day. I get up early in the morning and go running for about an hour. Then I often go to the gym and do aerobics with some friends. Sometimes I play tennis in the afternoon. Ok, so vamos a escribir eh, las actividades que son our favorite ones y vamos a incluir una, sea una mentira, right? Voy a pedir que hagamos, tenemos unas eh, four sentences. Vamos a escribir four sentences. Sentences and include one lie. Vamos a escribir una que es mentira, right? Lo vamos a escribir in the chat box. Write the paragraph in the chat box. Ok. Podemos enumerarlas con one, two, three, and four. Y luego we are going to read them. Do it. I'm going to give you, let's see, two minutes for the activity.
Como por ejemplo, Lee. Ok, por ejemplo, las actividades, por ejemplo, your favorite activities. Uh, for example, you can say, um, I love watching eh, movies, digamos, movies. Eh, otra puede ser, I exercise, I exercise every day. Puede ser que esta segunda sea la, una mentira, right? So we have to guess. Puede ser que usted no haga ejercicio, or you can say that, for example, I don't like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Y, y puede ser que sea lo contrario. That you love Coca-Cola. So, vamos a escribir cuatro oraciones, tres oraciones que sean eh, verdaderas, mm -hmm. favoritas, y una que sea una mentira, right? Ok. Ok. Let's do it. Teacher. Tell me. Um, sería correcto decir, I am always. Mm, okay, let's see. I am always. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I am. Is it? That's a very good one. Y, y esa es otra. Esa es otra. Very good. Cuando tenemos el verbo to be. Mm -hmm. Yo siempre estoy. Yeah. Esto. Solo y es el único excepción y gracias por recordarme. Siempre que tengamos el verbo to be, el adverbio de frecuencia va a ir después del verbo to be. Es la única excepción, la única. Por los demás, we can we have to use them before the verb. Okay? That's a very good observation. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, y something, uh -huh. something era el verbo que puede ir al principio. Sometimes, sometimes, okay, or okay. usually. Uh -huh. Sometimes, or usually, son los que... Yes, sí. sometimes, and usually. Uh -huh. At the beginning, right? Oh, It can okay. be, podemos utilizarlo at the beginning, o antes del verbo, before the verb. Thanks. Okay. Okay, don't forget that it is going to be in the chat box, okay?
That's it, teacher. Okay. No oh. right. Okay, ahí tenemos alfa, right? <laughs> okay, le estoy escribiendo ahí lo que vamos a corregir. Usualmente cuando tenemos, eh, en este caso, I love CrossFit. Eso vamos a quitarle el to. I play basketball or basket, right? Basketball, en ese caso es el deporte, porque si decimos basket es como la cesta. Basket. En caso que sea el deporte, right? Basketball. I usually go to the restaurants on... Cuando estamos de los días, vamos a utilizar on, right? On. On, right. on Friday. Uh -huh. On Friday. Okay? So, okay. what is the lie? What do you think is the lie? It says, my favorite activities. I love CrossFit. I play basketball. In the morning, I usually go to the restaurant on Friday with my friends. Let's see, let me guess, Alpha. I guess the lie here is that you love CrossFit. Yes. That's, that's, that's the lie, right? <laughs> but do you play basketball? No, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> another it's lie. Like lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see another. Let's see Amanda's answer. Okay, it says, I love eating chocolate. Definitely a true one. Every day I go walking at my work. My sister goes to the beach right twice a week. Every day I answer the phone at my work. Okay, let's see. Amanda, maybe, maybe I consider. Puede ser que. Um, Okay, let's see. My sister goes. Let's see. My sister goes to the beach twice a week. Is that the lie? Is that the lie? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you have sisters? No tengo hermanas. Tampoco ah. van a la playa dos veces por semana. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. You see, that's the lie, right? My sister goes to the beach, right? Thank you, uh, Amanda. Then we have Gloria. I drink only water. I love running every day. And my favorite food, sería en ese caso, right? Gloria sería, my favorite food is shrimps. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yo creo, I think, I guess también. We can use I guess. I guess that... I only drink water. Is that the lie, Gloria? Is esa la mentira? I only drink water. ¿Cuál es la mentira? What is the lie in that case, Gloria? And I said, I guess it is I drink only water. Okay, let's see with Joelman. It says, I love listening to music. Okay, I am always meeting new music. Okay, sometimes I share music with my special friends and usually, and I usually, I love studying my favorite kind of music. That's easy, <laughs> <Your man. laughs> that's, it, that's so easy. I think it is, I love bachata music. <laughs> Obviously, it has to be that one, Jolman. Am I right, Jolman? Or no, is it correct that you love bachata music? Yes, it is. That's the lie one. That's the lie, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, obviously, with you, bachata and reggaeton are not yours, right? It's not your style. <laughs> Thank you, Yolman. Let's see another. Okay, Gladys says, I sometimes have lunch in a restaurant. Big lie, I think. Sometimes. Okay, Gloria. And uh, los demás, ¿qué pasó? What happened with the others? Okay. So let's continue with the next activity, or there is one person. Sometimes I like to cook. I never do exercise. I always get up late, and I usually eat fish. 
Mm, that's a hard one, Anna. That's this is una, a little bit hard. I think Anna, the lie here is I usually no. Um, I always get up late. I think yes, think, yes, yes right. Is. That's the lie. You get up early. <laughs> oh, you have to get up early. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see with Magdalena. I get up early in the morning. I like to read and watch movies. I love eating chocolate and I do exercise every day. The lie, I do exercise every day. Right, to make that Magdalena? Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Completely right. Let's see Adon Adonias. I go to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. Uh, Adonias, that's a lie, right? Every day I have homework. I lie too. Okay, guys. So thank you uh, for the ones who participating. Let's see another. Sometimes I play video games. I get up early to go to work. The lie it is that you go to the gym, right? Every day. Okay, let's see. And I want you to complete this activity with your partners. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. And uh, we still have some time. I want you to answer this section with your partners, okay? Vamos a uh, responder these questions. You're going to ask these questions to your partner, and then they are going, your partner is going to ask you to you. Okay, no se say dudas about the activity. No? Okay. Vamos a just ask, right? Vamos a ask and you're going to answer this section. Luego la vamos a present here in the class. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. And uh, try to answer this section. Okay, like we're going to have like five minutes for this activity. Okay, let's go. Les voy a compartir in the WhatsApp group if you don't have them. Okay, see? Remember, try to speak as much as you can. Hello, Jolman.
Hello, guys. Do you have questions? Hello. <laughs> questions? Pues por el momento no vamos intentando ver si traducimos lo que dice ahí. Okay, okay. Let me know if you need help, okay? Let me know. Okay. Okay, I let you work, guys. Hello, Gladys, Magdalena, and Joelman. Do you have questions? No, teacher. Uh, we don't remember. It's funny. Sí, este, hay, hay deportes que bueno. Hockey, maybe. Okay, hockey. It's a sport. Es un deporte. Now it's Olympic, or yes. Um, hockey, hockey. De that depends. Creo que en Canadá. Creo que no, fíjese, I think it is not. ¿Cómo se dice gimnasia artística? ¿Por qué se si es de Juegos Olímpicos? Let's see, artistic, I think it is artistic, gymnastic. Gymnastic. Ajá, gymnastics, yes. That is the name, artistic gymnastics. I want to write it in the chat box. Artistic gymnastic. Thank you. And let's see. Hockey. I'm not sure if hockey um, is part of the Olympics. Let me check. It's part of the Olympics. Let's see. I don't watch too much these sports. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see. Ice hockey made its Olympic debut. This is El ice hockey, yes. Ah, ice hockey. Ice hockey. Te voy a compartir tu información. Swim, decía este. Veamos quién está escribiendo. Morena. ¿Está acá Morena? No. Ok. Uh, no questions, guys. No. Ok. So let me just move. Ok. I'll let you work, guys. Ok. 